Today I'll show you a way to create a placeholder for a list of data and we will first start with this static example and I will then show you how you can use this more dynamically with a real loading scenario. Hey, I'm Flo, I'm an indie iOS developer and I will teach you iOS and all of the other Apple platform development on this channel, so make sure to subscribe. All right, so let's get started and let me quickly go over the example that I have set up here for this static version. So as you can see in the preview, this is just a list of some uh, placeholder views or some example views here. So they're just uh, an H stack and a system image. Of course, this could be anything else and just two more text views like this. So this is basically the result that we want to show to the user, but how do we turn this into a skeleton loader? So we grab either our list, or we can of course also do this in the preview, but I'll do it in our placeholder view list here. And then we use a modifier that's called redacted. And when you're using this, you have to give a redaction reason. Now there are three different reasons. One is validated, invalidated. So if the data is not up to date anymore, Second is privacy. So for example, when you're running live activities on the lock screen, then uh, things redacted for privacy reasons will not be shown when the lock screen is uh, locked. And then lastly, we have the placeholder reason. And this is the one that we will be using here. So this just turns all of the views, or grabs all of the bounds of the views and turns them in this grayish secondary or tertiary color here. So it's very clear to the user that this data hasn't loaded yet. So this is a static example. And now let me show you how you could integrate this into an app that actually uh, downloads the data from a server or from Firebase or something like that. All right, so I just refactored this file a little bit. So beforehand, we just had our placeholder view with a list. And now in this list, I factored out our list item view. So our H tag with the image and the two texts. And I have refactored that into a list item view. So I can show you how you would actually load data in here. This list item view has a couple different properties. And in a second, I will show you why it is very relevant to have some placeholders in here. A couple properties for our image name, our title and our description. So all of the values that would get loaded from a server. And then we also have a is loading property that we will use to either show our placeholder or the actual view in the end. And how we're doing this is we have an, uh, a check here for is loading and we have basically factored out uh, all of these views into its own different property. And I called it content here. Of course, you can call it whatever you want. And for the image, we are of course using the image name, we're using the title and the description here. So this is basically the same setup that we had before, just to refactor it a little bit into its own property in its own type. And then to simulate a network call, I've added this on a peer here, which waits for two seconds. And after two seconds, it inserts the correct image name, the correct title and description, and uh, then sets is loading to false. So this is the basic setup that we have. And now if I switch to the live preview, then you can see it in action. So for the first two seconds, we will have our redacted placeholder view, and then it switches to our loaded content where you can see it switches correctly to the house image, which beforehand was a square image. So going back into this pointer mode here now, why is it relevant to have placeholder values in here? And let me show you this by example. So if I just remove the placeholder value for the description, you will notice that the redacted placeholder uh, view here is now completely gone. And that's because it takes the bounds of the view and then masks it with a rectangle or uh, overlays a rectangle on top of that. So if we just have one character in here, then you will notice that it is very tiny. And that's why it's relevant to have a placeholder in place and you can of course do this in whichever way you want and for your app you probably know how much text roundabout there will be in uh, these places or how big the images will be and so on. So the same thing is true for the image name. If we leave that empty, it basically means that we can't find the SF symbol because we are using system images here and that means that the redacted view will then be completely empty even though we did specify a frame. So this is very relevant that you always have your placeholders for uh, images and text views and everything else that takes up space on the screen.
So to wrap things up, you are going to need the dot redacted view modifier. You can give a reason and in this case we will use the placeholder reason. There's also invalidated and privacy if you use these in other places. I've shown you a static example of how to use redacted and I've also shown you a dynamic example of how you can use this to actually load data and then display a loading um, skeleton view here while you're communicating with the server. If you liked the video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content soon.